Welcome to Drinks and Chill. My name is Joe. This is Matt. And today we are drinking Balcones. Balcones. We've had Balcones before. We've had Balcones before. Yes, but a not this A couple one. times. Yeah. Maybe even a few. This is Balcones' latest release, The Big Baby. It's finished in tequila barrels and it is bottled in bond. Bottled in bond. Fun fact this is actually Balcones' first ever bottled in bond whiskey oh. release. What is this? Cruzando from. from, from, from Fronteras? Is that the, the cat skill was it? I think that just means crossing frontiers in oh, Spanish. Oh, okay. We have a special spot in our hearts for our roasted blue corn new make filled into cask we receive from our neighbors in Mexico. These complimentary profiles accentuate the minerality and delicate oily maize corn with salty citrus notes from the agave. It's been a long wait for us, but we are thrilled Big Baby is now ready to share. We hope you will enjoy this neat on ice or in your favorite salt rimmed cocktail. Aged at least five years. I don't know if I remember another Balcones that was this old. I like how they, rec uh, they also put in ice mm -hmm. in cocktails. Normally they don't do that. Yeah. Normally everything is neat. So bottle and bond means it's 100 proof, at least four years old. This one is five years old. And it's going to be distilled by the same distiller in the same distilling season. Okay. So distilling season, I believe. It's like a six month season. So I think it's like January to June. And then the other season is July to December, I think. And another thing that I've recently heard about this one, they didn't set out trying to make a bottled and bond whiskey. It's like once they were ready to like bottle it and release it, they sort of came to the realization like, hey, this is bottled and bond. Mm. And so they went ahead and put that on the label because why not? Yep. This is a corn whiskey, meaning it's at least, uh, or meaning the mash is at least 80% corn. And typically these have the signature of Jared Hempstead on the back, but this time it has Gabriel Richard, the spirits manager. Oh, okay. So I think this is like his- His signature. Yeah, like his creation or his idea or something. That's nice. So I thought that was pretty cool that they actually put his signature on the back. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, that's very sweet butterscotch. Right? Yeah, butterscotch, big time. I feel like the tequila comes through a little bit. It does. You know what I like? Even though it's 100 proof, it doesn't smell 100 proof. No. This is really interesting, like already on the smell. Yeah, it smells like those like tequila liqueurs. Like the, like the Patron liqueur things. Yeah, like the orange you know, the, liqueur and stuff. Because like they're very sweet. Yeah. I feel like that sort of like candy corn thing is going on in there again. Mm -hmm. I got that from that Abasolo Mexican whiskey, that candy. I remember getting that from, from that whiskey. And that was also a corn whiskey. Mm -hmm. I feel like on the first whiff, the, the tequila came through. Tequila. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> but I haven't, I'm not getting it as much on the subsequent whiffs. Other things are coming through. I'm getting like a chocolatey s smell. I'm looking for that oak. Because aged at least five years in Texas, like I feel like there would be a lot of oak impact, but maybe not because it, since I it was- I think that sweetness is really- Yeah, that's, it's really sort of taking that over. It says oh, your favorite salt rimmed cocktail. So does that mean that we could make like a margarita, margarita with this? That would be interesting to try. I think that sweetness uh, is also because of tequila too. Yeah. Tequila is that that? And so you're basically being vanilla plus tequila. Mm -hmm. So I think it's good, but I feel like it's not really my personal taste. A lot better. I'm going to give it a solid five. Solid five? Mm. I was going to give it a 4.8. Okay. Cheers. Very smooth. Very little afterburn. The butterscotch shows up there on the taste again. Although I feel like is the whiskey takes the forefront on the taste. The tequila impact is a little bit less on the taste than it was on the smell. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm finding it interesting of how it would taste with a margarita. We'll have to make a margarita with it one day and see what mm -hmm. happens. I'm getting a lot of tequila taste in it. Yeah. Even though they won't add any tequila, just in a barrel, but still, <clears throat> I'm getting a lot of it. Yeah, but it's still like, if that barrel like absorbed some of that tequila, it could have, you know, found its way into the whiskey. Mm -hmm. I could see this working in a margarita, honestly. So here, let's do this. Uh, here's another glass. Okay. We will try the Balcones Baby Blue, because I think that is this. 
just aged longer and in the tequila barrel. So how long is that one aged, does it say? This one says aged at least six months in oak. Okay. I think this one is potentially like less than a year old. Let's try this one. See this one, the butterscotch is like. It's kind of there, but not really. But it's not as strong. I'm getting a little bit more vanilla in this one. Mm -hmm. That candy corn is still there, but I don't feel like it's as sweet as yeah. as this one. I definitely prefer this one. I have to say I prefer this one more, but that sweetness is can be a little bit overbearing. And I think that's what I like about this one, because I, I am kind of a sweet tooth, mm. and it's just, I, I like that sweetness a lot. Yeah, this one just has a little bit more going on in it, the, the tequila barrel one. On the taste, I will give this one a 5.1. I give it a 5. I think the, the taste is not as overwhelming as the smell is. Yeah. As far as how it finishes... I like the finish. Mm -hmm. I like the taste it leaves on the finish. It leaves you with that sweetness, mm -hmm. which I like. I like how it finishes. Mm -hmm. On the finish, I'm going to give it a 2.5. I'll give it a 2.2. Okay. As far as how the bottle looks, I like this, like the colors that they use. Yeah. I feel like... I like the wheat that he did right there. Mm -hmm. Or the corn. I like the corn that he did right there. <laughs> yeah, I really like the look of the label. Balcones, they, they always stick with the same bottle. They typically stick with sort of the same um, format with their labels. Mm -hmm. Like even this one has the corn on it. But it's like all blue, whereas this one is like the... the it's like, this is the only one that's... No, this is the only one that's two-tone, isn't it? Like, kind of like the half and half? Is it? I think so. Yeah, you're right. That's the only one. Because there, there are two-tone ones, like brimstone and stuff like that. But in terms of basically where it's white or it cuts in half in terms of the label. Yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of a different look for them. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, because most of the labels, we're looking at the other Balcones ones that we have. I don't know how well you guys can see them. Yeah. But the other Balcones bottles are here, and for the most part, the labels are all a single color. And then they may have other color elements on them, but they don't change from one color to the other like this one does. Mm -hmm. And I guess because this is their first one to go in this type of route, I can mm -hmm. see why they went ahead and tried different. Yeah. I'll give it a 2.5 on the look as well. Yeah. I'll do 2.5. Yeah. So our, our total scores will be right here so that you can see where the ranking is. Yeah, this is pretty good. Yep. We're just going to have to do a Balcones tasting video one of these days. I know, but there's too many. But they have like their core line, like the ones that are always like basically readily on available. Shelf. And then they have others like this one, which are like limited release or special release. So it'd be fun to do a tasting of like their core line. Mm. That is going to be our review on Big Baby. Leave it down in the comments below if you'd like to see us try the whole readily available uh, comments. Yeah, the core line. lineup. But before we go, we'll have to add bottle. this. And it's come to our attention that we've forgotten to add several whiskeys to this infinity bottle over the course of this year. Last year we did really good, but this year we forgot to add a few. Yeah, because last year we were more excited about it. Um, well, no, this year we had like just more stops like where we were able to record, so it kind of threw us off a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. All right, Balcona's Big Baby is added to the Infinity Ball. Oh, and also leave it down in the comments below if you'd like to see us try it with a margarita. Yeah, yeah, that'd be Or as a margarita. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you know whenever we post a video. And we will uh, see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.